Hi and welcome to today's video, Upload and Update Excel Values to SharePoint. A few months ago, I created a flow showing how to regularly export an Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint. That turned out to be quite popular. Uh, I've had a few comments though saying, well, how do you do an update, not just an import? Well, here's the original workflow. Let's save a copy of this one. Here we are. So the original steps are here, but it's going to change. The first thing is we're not going to create an item in the same way. So let's just delete that one. In fact, before we even start, well, first off, make sure that you're familiar with the original workflow. And then secondly, let's see what we've got. So we have an Excel sheet which is up there in OneDrive. This is what the data looks like. This is some stuff which the behind the scenes processes have added. There's no magic here. But there's one thing I have to say. If you want to do updates to content which you've already uploaded, there has to be some sort of key. So in my example, title is unique for every single row. Therefore, it's going to be able to find out which row it's updating. If you didn't do that, you couldn't do updates. The only other thing that you could do is perhaps clear down everything in the list through an iteration first and then upload everything fresh each time. But this is my one and it's going to allow me to do updates just to say, yeah, this is the blank list. Currently no items in here, which we're going to do some imports to. All right, without further ado then. So here was the flow. I've deleted the create item. What it does is on a recurrent basis, it gets the rows from the Excel sheet and then for each of them, it was creating an item in SharePoint, but no longer because we're going to do things a little bit differently. We have to check whether the item exists before we decide whether to update or create a new item. So using the value from the Excel, we're going to check for the existence of the item first. So we do a get items. And we have to do a filter where the title equals, which is EQ like this, and then we do single brackets, sorry, single quotes. And then I'm just choosing the title here. It's very important that you have the single quotes around this title from Excel. And I only want one value back. I mean, I'm hoping there will only be one. So that's going to check. And then I need to see what I got back. Was there an item or wasn't there? So I'm going to add a condition. I'm actually going to cheat here. I'm going to paste in my condition. This is seeing if the get items came back empty or not. I will put this in a text box on the video so that you can easily see this and copy it. If it's empty, yes, I'm going to want to create a new item because I didn't find the item. If no, then I'm going to want to do an update because I did find the item. So very quickly, we'll do a create item here. create item. So I just want the values from my spreadsheet, title in title, and data in data. 
just to say of course with the spreadsheet you have a row ID here if the items never moved row you could use that as the key rather than title and now the bit we've all been waiting for we're going to do an update if it did exist so we want update item update item same sort of thing except this time you need to provide the ID of the list item that you're going to update this is one thing that complicates it and then the values from the spreadsheet as before whoops too quick on the mouse there data Okay, this should be it. So let's save that. So we enable the item. looking good let's look at the site okay I have my items written to the list so it was empty so it's had eight create items let's just change things around so I'm going to change p4 to be change here we go so I have some updated data now let's run the flow again find the change data and do the business for us successful flow run let's do a refresh of the list in fact I already see it's done it ah, there we go change so it's brought in the update is there any more than eight rows in here which is duplicate rows were the original flows issue No, all good. So it's done what we needed it to do. So there we go. Upload and update items uh, from Excel to SharePoint using Flow. If today's video was useful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And if you think I can help you with your work, hey, reach out.